Welcome to the pre-match pint in association with London Pride. We're not in our regular home of our function room around the corner because there is a function there today. So we're here, front of house. And you know what, I actually quite like it. Thank you again to Natalie Sawyer and Reese Weston for joining me this week. How are we both? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm very good, thanks. Yeah. Are you? Are you too? I am, look. Big night up at uh, Man City last night. Came back early, very professional. We normally have Drink Responsibly at the bottom of the screen. I don't know if we need it today, to be fair, I think. <laughs> I'm probably an advert for Drink Responsibly on its own. Anyway, right, come on, let's mess it around. Man City, Reese, as a group of players, will they be taking a lot of positives from that? Because that's twice we've played Man City now and we have defended brilliantly against them twice. At the end of the day, we didn't get any points. But if you're in that dressing room after the game, are you going... Look, twice we've done all right against the champions of England. Yeah, I think you've got to take positives, absolutely. And you know, there's, no, there's no shame in being beaten by Man City. And there's, there's ways you can lose games. And I think, yeah, I, I think in the main, we defended resolutely last night. Mm. I think you know, we were always going to concede a lot of possession, which we did. But I, I would suggest that that defensive performance would, would give the guys a bit of confidence going into the weekend because, you know, arguably Man City are, are the best possession-based team in Europe. And to come away with a with a you know narrow two 0 defeat isn't isn't the worst in the world. Yeah. But it's also it's also I was going to say like the set pieces, the corners. We did really well at those. We defended them really well. So as a defence, they hopefully can take some confidence from that going forward to the into the rest of the season. I think. Do you think we then, as, as supporters, have got a big role to play on, on Saturday? Being this Saturday three o'clock game that we've spoken about in the past, the magnitude of it is this one where we need to as well be from the first minute behind the lads and create that atmosphere that we've seen in some of these games because it is look, I know some people say we, we bounce off the, the, the boys as well but they also need to feed off us right so is it a case of making sure we make sure that place is absolutely electric on Saturday oh, absolutely um, it, it, you know it can become a fortress and we've seen it early on in this season what an atmosphere it can be there and how you feel it does inspire the team um, so yeah the fans have a massive part to play of course they do Think about all the good that's in that team. David Rea is back. Josh De Silva's back in the team now. Um, we're one day going to see Christian Eriksen at some point. There's a lot for us to be lifted about, as much as you know our results aren't going our way. So I still think, as fans, of course we have a massive job, massive job to do on Saturday, and I think we can deliver. And hopefully that means it will be a factor that can go in our favour and we can win the game. Natalie mentioned a few things there. What excites you the most about basically a lot of returning players and players about to make a start? We've seen. Josh coming off the bench again yesterday. Uh, Frank's now back from international duty. Yeah. Um, potentially Ivan and Brian back in the fold for Saturday. What, what gets you excited about the rest of the season, Rhys? Well, it's a good question, Stu. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not prepared for these decent... Do you know what? <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm just not prepared for decent questions, I've got to be honest with you. Always, always, <laughs> Don't blame you. Always throws me off. I didn't know I had it in me this morning when I woke <laughs> up. It just throws me off. It throws me off. Um, no, you, you, you're right. I think... You know the return of Josh is, is massive. Um, you know he's got some got some minutes under his belt now competitively against Everton and obviously on, on Wednesday night against City. Um, David being back, great. You know Frank coming back from the the, the, the Afcon. Look, we, we, we've we've got a relatively small squad, but when when everyone's fit, you know we're 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 competitive. And I think it's just trying to build momentum, Stu. I think the key is is just putting in a, a really positive performance. Results are key, of course they are. But, you know, I think to see Christian Eriksen at the stadium on Saturday in whatever capacity will give everyone a lift. You know, I, I don't know if Josh is going to be deemed ready to start. Who knows? Yeah. But, you know, we, we've, got, we've got players that, that can have an impact, be that on or off the field. Um, and to your point, I think the, the support is going to be integral on, on Saturday. You know, we, it's very difficult sometimes to, to, to raise the atmosphere when, when results aren't going well. But it does. It's, it's palpable, you know. As, as players, especially, you'll, you'll sense it. There's yeah. nothing. There's nothing more demoralising than giving the ball away and hearing mm. an audible sigh in the stadium. You know, everyone. Everyone's acutely aware that when things aren't going well, that every every mistake you make is scrutinised. So, you know, I think yeah, the onus is on the team to come out positively. We've got the firepower to hurt Crystal Palace, and I think if you at least if the fans see. The players, you know, really putting in a shift. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not questioning their work ethic, but I mean, you know, positively taking the game to Palace. I think that will soon, soon raise the spirits, and then you can start building those confidence blocks again and taking them into the games thereafter. But it, it all starts on Saturday. There's no, there's no getting away from how big Saturday is for us. Mm. Josh De Silva's obviously got minutes in the last two games. 
Natalie, uh, where do you think he is? For me, I wasn't expecting him back this early. It was a, it's, it's a boost. Would you be tempted to start him on Saturday? Or do you think it's still a bit too soon? Um, that's a good question. Gosh, another one. He's on fire. Wow. <laughs> Would I, be, I, I, I don't know if I'm yet... I don't know if I'm ready for him to start, only because I do feel it is about game management with him. He's been out for so long. Um, and at the moment, maybe he's, he's great to bring on as an impact player that you're trying to... If, things aren't going quite well against Crystal Palace on Saturday. Maybe he is a player you bring on. Like you mentioned before, I would expect Brian to start. And if Ivan's fit, obviously he's going to start. So that, there is going to be changes, I imagine, for the team already. I just think, I mean, look, we know what Josh De Silva can do. We know the creativity he can bring to that squad and to that team. Um, I'm quite happy for right now for him to be an impact player that you bring on and just ease him back into that team. Because I, what, the, what we don't want is anything costly to happen to him. I'd, I'd counter that though, I'd counter that, oh, we go. I would counter that, only by suggesting that sometimes for a Josh, of, uh, for a Josh, for a player of Josh's quality, mm. I'm afraid of myself now, you know, to come on and have an impact if the game isn't necessarily ebbing and flowing as we'd like, you know, players like Josh need to be involved, oh, you know, yeah. they need to be on yeah, the ball. Yeah. So there could be an argument to give him an hour, for example, mm -hmm. let him play his way in, get, him, get himself to the pace of the game early and try and Im influence things early on. If he runs out of gas after an hour, then so be it. If you need something a little bit different to turn your luck, he may, he may be the person. Obviously, we're hoping Christian Eriksen, once he's fit and firing, will be that person. But in, in, in the interim period, someone like Josh could be that point of difference. You look at Palace, for example, they've got kind of Conor Gallagher, who's arguably a bit of a flair player, Will Zaha as well. If there was an opportunity, potentially, if, if Josh is recovered from, from Wednesday night, there may be an opportunity to give him a run out. So, Reese is saying start Josh on Saturday, potentially. Natalie's saying maybe not quite ready. What do you think? Tell us in the comments below. Um, that's it. Surprisingly enough, I've not really got through mine today. Um, not surprised. <laughs> yeah. Not surprised. Not like <laughs> it was very civilised, all I'm going to say. Um, thanks again for joining us on the pre match pint with London Pride. See you next week. And I'm going to go and have a lie down. You read.